what's up everybody welcome back to the channel 2020 is here trim the beer got a new look it's january and it's 67 degrees out so we're gonna pull the beer out but first we got to move my wife's camaro so let's do a cold start on that real quick and uh get the beer out of the garage go for a little cruise i think i might even pull the t-tops off it's that nice so let's do it I enjoy how uh, Alice wants sound with exhaust. Just a cat back, but uh, sounds pretty good. All right, let's pull it out of the way so we can get the BOK out. ready to roll all right boys how cool is this it's january and we're rolling with the t-tops off and i know you guys in florida and texas and you know southern california are laughing at us because you guys have beautiful weather all the time well we're not that fortunate here in new jersey so when we get it we'll take it and enjoy it all right let's go get some gas i was just chatting with a guy at the gas station he pulls up he goes dude if today's the day you got to do it he saw the T-tops off. He goes, yo, man, that's one badass piece. So uh, props to that guy. But uh, one thing about Jersey, you can't pump your own gas, but I found that most gas attendants, when I go and I stand behind the car before I'm about to fill it up, that they know to hand me the pump. So that's pretty cool of them. But uh, let's head out. Let's go do some cruising. It's too nice not to. All right, guys, it's such a nice day. Let's get the drone up in the air and get some uh, aerial footage. You might actually recognize this industrial park from uh, one of my previous videos. Um, I actually shot my buddy's 9,000 mile GN in this area. So uh, if you haven't seen that already, I'll link it above right here. Go check that out if you get a chance. Beautiful car. But uh, let's throw the drone up in the air and get some footage. Got the highway next to me. Might look pretty cool and I'll do some uh, tracking shots as well. So uh, let's do that right now. guy did it I was just gonna put the drone up to shoo these geese away and this car coming this way did it and there are a million geese flying over me right now I was gonna let the drone uh, handle it and fly down that way but I don't know if this guy's security or what he is but uh, he just shoot them all away oh he's he's the geese chasers I think that's what he does oh yeah all right so they have companies out here that chase geese away from private property. You can hire them to do that, and that's what he just did. <laughs> that's pretty cool. But yeah, you probably heard them all flying above. But all right, let's get the second battery in this drone and get it back up in the air. Yo, it is super windy out here. The drone is fighting itself to stay stable and level. But uh, yeah, let's get a little bit more footage. I don't think I'm going to try to do a follow me. Uh, type session because with it being as windy um, I had it 
full tilt and it was moving like one to two miles per hour coming back. So I don't think uh, it's gonna be very wise. Let me put my eyes back on this thing because I'm surprised it's not drifting. That's how windy it is. Yo, look how windy that flag is and how stable this shot is. I'm just amazed by this drone. It just blows me away every time I fly it. But uh, I'm about 580 feet away with seven minutes of battery life left, but I probably should bring it back because God knows it's gonna fight coming back. All right, guys, so right now is probably a good segue to talk about the new drone legislation. So if you're a car enthusiast that loves to shoot uh, footage of your car from your drone, you should probably be aware of the future legislation coming out. It's called the uh, Remote ID, and uh, there's a big stink of it in the drone slash UAV uh, community because of how limiting it is and what the requirements are. I don't 100% understand it, so I don't want to go into it, but I will link a video below. There's a bunch of good YouTubers who have a better explanation of exactly what it is. Check it out in the link below. That's all I'm going to talk about it right now, but... Uh, I don't think I'm gonna put this up in the air and follow me because it's just too windy and I don't want this flying away because it's hard enough to fly right now. Better yet, fly and follow me while I'm driving around. So let's get this packed up and we'll head out of here. Oh, really? No, oh, come on. Damn it. All right, guys. Up. Um, the next scene, um, I was actually leaving the industrial complex and I heard a car do a little pull. So I went to investigate and uh, I turned down the one of the streets and it was a, a guy in a Mustang. He must have just ripped it a little bit. And uh, I went and I uh, turned around at the end of the street. He pulled out and uh, he rolled his window down. We got to talking and I held the camera up thinking I was recording. And we had a nice little exchange. I did, however, have the GoPro rolling. So I will throw that footage here at the end. Um, long story short, he was out enjoying the nice weather, uh, tweaking his tune a little bit in the car. Uh, it turns out he's an autocross guy, and uh, he just wanted to see, you know, what little power he could squeak out of it and uh, adjusting that tune a little bit. So I encouraged him to uh, feel free to do a little burnout that I was going to record, which I thought I was, and unfortunately I did not, and I missed it. Yeah, I'll play that now. So, again, I apologize. Don't hold it against me. talking about enjoying your vehicle that dude was messing with his tune he wanted to see what he'll do he was out back here ripping it a little bit so uh dude just get out and enjoy your vehicles you know whether it's a g body it's a fox body it's a you know a newer mustang like that just get out enjoy your vehicles i understand there's some vehicles that you know people are afraid to drive they don't want to drive they're worth too much but in my opinion you only have one life enjoy it if you have hot rods, you have fast cars, get out and enjoy them. I can't preach that enough. But enough of me, off my soapbox. Hope you enjoyed this little video. I had to make it, it was too nice not to. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Hit that Power 6 logo in the corner there. Subscribe, I appreciate each and every one of you. Until the next one, probably which will be a Monte Carlo update. And if you guys didn't hear about what happened with my Monte, click the link above, I'll post that right now. But uh, thanks for watching, I appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next one. See ya!